I'm a preschool teacher, um, and I took the time to read the IPCC report that came out on October 10th. The research finds that if we do not reduce our carbon emissions by half within the next 12 years, climate change will cause the extinction of all warm water coral ecosystems, irreversible damage to Arctic regions, and permanent flooding of coastal areas. I'm the Climate Program Director for the Oregon Environmental Council, and I'm also a mother of two young kids whose well-being mean the world to me. And many utilities are already proposing plans that show renewables are outcompeting coal on a strict cost basis without even taking into account the health benefits. I similarly, similarly oppose changes to the clean car standards. The new provisions are neither safe nor affordable. The current standards as they stand today are good for our pocketbooks and the economy. The clean car standards would save drivers between $3,200 and $5,700 over the life of a vehicle. They would also spur demand for clean car technologies that would be good for jobs. So rolling back these standards are bad for the economy, they're bad for our health, and they're bad for our climate. We oppose these changes. These proposed rules would have a direct bad effect on air quality. I want my girls to be able to breathe the air. We need more regulations prevent the release of toxins and air pollution. Um, this fits every characteristic of bad policy. It is vague. The costs and benefits are uh, very one-sided. As Mommy said, governments are here to keep us safe. This law, this proposed law, would not keep like anyone safe. And it's scary. Growing up and thinking that when I grow up it won't be safe anymore. So, thank you. Thank you.